Well, we're back here at the uh, Cave of Science, and today we're going to continue our lesson on uh, using the Internet, and today we're going to uh, evaluate online resources. I do have a couple links on here, but as you record these in Camtasia, the links become inactive, so I will mail these out to, uh, to you guys at a, a later date. Well, if you recall, one of our topics we researched was the Big Bang Theory. Uh, be how the universe, the theory about how the universe began. Well, if you just type in the uh, the search bar, the Big Bang Theory or Big Bang Theory, you come up with the show. I think it's about the first ten, first uh, fifteen hits on there. Great show. We've used it in class. I watch it. Uh, number one comedy on TV. Uh, pretty good show. Well, that's not what we're looking for when we do research in cosmology about the the Big Bang Theory. So let's go back to our. One lesson we talked about was being precise in our searches. If you type in Big Bang Theory Science, then you come up with a picture like the bottom right-hand corner here. And this is the, uh, the topic we want to research here. The website we're going to review today, uh, I picked it was one of the first ones that showed up for uh, the Big Bang Theory. And actually, this is a pretty good website for us to, uh, to examine as... Uh, it does throw up some red flags as we, as we go through this. And you can see it's a Big Bang Theory. It's from the uh, website All About Science. And it goes through the, uh, the premise of the uh, Big Bang Theory here. Well, the first uh, topic or criteria we got to look for is authorship or who wrote it. If you notice on the previous slide, there was, there was no author was given. So I scroll down to the bottom of the page thinking maybe the author would be there or some uh, type of organization. Really nothing was listed. And so I clicked on uh, the site down here, uh, Science Home, and it brings bring, brought me to a site called allaboutscience.org. So right away the authorship is somewhat in question here, and this would, uh, would throw up a red flag if this would be a credible or legitimate website you'd want to use in scientific research or research for, for our topic in our class. The next step is the publishing body. Uh, is it a, uh, for science, we probably want something from the government, uh, university, a scientific journal, uh, maybe even a, a, a reputable uh, newspaper. But looking at this one, uh, the publishing body was allaboutscience.org. And again, this throws up a little bit of a red flag if you go through and read uh, their introductory paragraph on their website. Uh, the last line in there says, we are able to begin satisfying your deep felt need to know more about ourselves. Uh, so this kind of would push you to believe this might not be all science. There might be some more uh, philosophical uh, leaning towards this website. Uh, the next uh, criteria we do is the, uh, the point of view. Does the author, the publishing body, have a certain agenda they want to talk about? You know, what is their point of view? Is it strictly uh, present the facts, or are they leaning one way or another? Uh, this website does present some facts. Uh, in fact, if you look at the uh, page here, the Big Bang Theory, the only, only plausible theory, that's not too bad. There are uh, alternative theories there. But as you, as you uh, go down on this page, you'll see the Big Bang Theory, what about God? Now it's starting to bring a point of view in. And again, we like to talk about, you know, I mean, we've talked about class before. We teach to the, uh, the state standards, next generation science standards. So this class in no way, shape, or form wants, you know, is trying to change anybody's beliefs. We're just doing a, uh, a lesson here on are these credible websites to use for a scientific research topic. So right away, there is a point of view or a bias to this website. Uh, the next step or stage would be the, uh, the authority of the author. And since there was no author listed, it's pretty, tight, pretty tough to uh, check the authority. Uh, again, if you go about all, all about science.org, there's nobody listed on there. So it's, it's, it's a website that's putting out scientific information but it's pretty tough to go back and check to see you know, what are the credentials of this particular website. 
And again, this ought to be a, throw up a little bit of a red flag if you'd want to use this uh, in your uh, in your research. Uh, accuracy. The next stage. Uh, the accuracy for this, you know, if you look at the first, and this is the website itself, Big Bang Theory evidence for the theory it is 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 pretty good. Uh, as you read through this, the uh, the bullet points are things that we have talked about in class. Uh, we talked about that cosmic microwave background radiation uh, being a proof for that. So that's pretty good. Even the uh, the next part, the Big Bang theory, the the only plausible theory. Uh, there are alternative theories out there, but again, it's kind of interesting if you again read the last line here. It says what I want to bring out into the open is the fact that we are using philosophical criteria. And again, when you start thinking philosophical, you start uh, you start using a certain point of a point of view or or bias on here. So the accuracy on here, I would say, is not is not bad. The information presented in this part is really pretty good. Uh, currency uh, is the article current. You know, is it is it old? You know, has it been around a while? Uh, they do footnote at the end of this uh, website. They do have have some footnotes. Uh, you know, you, you start throwing Stephen Hawking out there. Then, you know, that's a that's a pretty good uh, pretty good resource. Uh, the thing I kind of worry about a little bit on here on the currency. If you look at the uh, the dates on here, uh, you know, 1968, 1970, uh, 1996, uh, you got some stuff in the early 2000s. Uh, I would say probably a little bit so so on this. You know, the Scientific American, a well respected uh, journal, uh, October of uh, 1995. So, uh, you know, I would be a little bit wary of the uh, timeliness of the information here. Well, which I guess kind of brings us, so do we use it or not? This particular website, I would probably not use because it really, it gets into uh, too too many kind of uh, gray areas if it's a, uh, a legitimate source for scientific research. You know, if, if, if you're thinking, you know about when you start searching for legitimate sources uh, and I threw this this shot up here about a NASA uh, pretty much they present the information uh, this would be I would consider NASA a uh, a legitimate a credible resource uh, typically any uh, websites uh, from a, a university would probably be pretty good or any of the other respected scientific journals out there so Again, as you go through your resources, use those six criteria. You know, you don't. It doesn't need to be a, a real formal evaluation, but always keep an open mind. You know, is there any bias? You know, what's the author's uh, credentials here, and is it something I should be using for research? So that will uh, end our uh, conversation today, and we will catch you later.